Well, I think when you when you grow up with characters like this, they, they change as you get older. They evolve, and, yeah. and you know, going back to the book at yeah. forty years old, the same book that I read was read to me when I was seven, yeah. and and it, it feels different, and these characters feel different, and 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 then actually putting the costume on and trying to make that character live and breathe and walk and talk, and it's like you, you they, you're given this this responsibility to every other person that's read that book and that. Mm-hmm. Or is just reading the book for the first time, or is has read it, you know, when they were seven. That's right. a responsibility, and and so exactly. you have to own that for everyone. And and uh, I've I've tried to take that on, and mm-hmm. you know, but I've only got my own imagination to to work with. But uh, it's served me well in the past, so I hope it will do again. I believe it will. I believe it will. From what I witnessed, it's serving you quite well. Oh, uh, you I was very much. impressed with everything the team was doing yeah. down there on the set. But let me ask you something about the staying power of myth. Why yeah. is it? Why is these stories have such a holding power on us? Why, well, I think, think that was one of Tolkien's great uh, achievements that he ne- he didn't create. Um, he create. He didn't really create myth. He created legend. So, and mm-hmm. and that's what he his full intention was to create something that felt uh, like it was of this earth, not. Uh, not, not somewhere else in the same right. way that maybe C.S. Lewis did is that right. Tolkien really wanted something that you might as you read the Silmarillion or any of these any of the early uh, histories you know the, the evolution stories that he comes through with it's yeah. you, you, you realise that he's looking for something much deeper much much more uh, English actually Yes, um, and he's created. He wants to create a universe that you think may have existed. He he created a religion, effectively languages. Mm-hmm. Seventeen yeah. original languages yeah. Tolkien invented, which yeah. is crazy. And and I think his passion for language, and you know the way that he used Nordic mythology is why yes. why the book feels so real and sustains over a long period of time, and will do. You know, mm. I've, I would be very surprised if if any of these stories get remade again, but I think Tolkien will be visualized on film. You know, the, 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 maybe the summer really ends, something like that. I mean, that would be a great challenge to see that book come to life. But, it would. But it would be a tragedy if it didn't. It would. Oh, yeah, indeed. Well, thank you very much, Richard, for your time. Nice to talk to you. Congratulations on all your good work. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Well done. <laughs>